welcome to my tech talk. Um, this is Rome, Google Docs with a database. Um, so this is not my first webinar, but this is my uh, first time I'm gonna be using my talking notes as my demo. Um, you see that in a bit. And uh, also this technology just came out in November and I just started like teaching myself how to use this thing uh, eight days ago. So <laughs> please bear with me. Hopefully no uh, technical problems. So let's bring this together. Uh, all right, let's, let's start some, with uh, some awesome quotes. And one thing that's cool is that I could shift click here and get a page. So unlike Google Docs where you have to like, have two tabs, I have like double tab view here. And they call it the Rome cults. Uh, I think this is w one of the best testimonials where it's like, you know, this, it's gonna be heartbreaking if I can't do this. And, oh, I have a note to myself. I should drop an image here, let's do that. Do it on the next slide. So drag and drop is cool. Uh, I like this quote too. Uh, they tried to do something similar in Xerox a decade ago. And then someone saying that using any other note-taking uh, software is infuriating. Um, let's see. At first, you'll say W2F. And then an hour into it, it'd be, where, where has this been all my life? Uh, removes the fear of not having a perfect filing system. And then going down the, the Twitter thread, I ended up with things where like, I wasn't sure what these things were, so. Uh, where is it? That did not work as expected. So, like learning the German word for a box of index cards. Or what is transclusion? Oh, okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna add the tag for PDM or personal data management so I can link that. And I have the link for that right here. Let's drop that in there. Uh, all right, so in computer science transclusion, uh, oh, let me drop that in there. is the inclusion of part of all of an electronic document into one or more documents by hypertext reference. Oh, good time to check out the website. So this is the website. A note taking tool for network thought. Um, and then I like this quote right here. I feel like play I'm playing learning the video game. Um, and that knowledge is organized associatively and not hier hierarchically. All right, so let's go back. And I just thought this was cool. I'm not gonna read the, all of this, but uh, their logo is an astrolabe. So it's a calculator used for uh, calculating problems in astronomy. Cool. So, uh, anyone here use note-taking tools, Google Docs, anything else? Yep, I do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, I've used notation in Evernote and Google Docs. Uh, I like this note about what's Rome, what Rome does better than uh, notation. Um, what is this to tag page? Oh, okay. Oh, my pros and cons. That is a pro. All right, I'll talk about that later. And time for the demo. So let's put that a new tab. Let me see if I could get this to work. Uh, hmm. That sort of works. So yeah, one of the cons, it, it does take a while to load, but then again, it's 
it is a connected database of all your docs. Um, I like to think of it as when you're sitting on waiting for like npm install or you know like yarn install, it's about the same time. It's not too bad. I, I've gotten used to it. Um, is there a way to turn off my virtual background while sharing or do I have to stop sharing? Anyone know? I think you just go into your start video and uh, turn off your virtual background. Just click on none. Ah, there you go. Thanks. Cool. Let's get that note out of the way. Do I have my page yet? Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to see if I have this in another tab. No, nope, that's the course. Those are hotkeys. Ooh, let's change that to exciting. So I'm also taking this course. And yeah, I just started 33% complete. Uh, and there's a deal right now. So if you take the course, you, you'll get the uh, credit towards Rome once they go into paid. So I think that's cool. Uh, okay, I'm done with that. Navigation. So enter for a new bullet point. Tab to indent. Oop. Shift tab to like remove the indent. Uh, oh, yeah. So if I wanted to start a new line and then go back. Uh, two enters. Shift enter for a block. So if I wanted to stay in the bullet point, uh, command shift up. That. Oh, nope, oh, that's selecting. Oh, I forgot command. Yeah. So kind of could move around your notes like an ID. I think that's really cool. Command period owner. Yeah. I could zoom into a block command period. Uh, all right, let's go back. Well, all the way back. Cool. Uh, and then I could turn things into a numbers list. So there's a number, then document view, which has been kind of buggy. Document view is supposed to look like Google Docs, where it's like there's no bullet points. So I'm still working on that. And then there's, uh, you can create to-do lists. Uh, so I could right-click and make a to-do. Uh, or I could just put, to, you know, I wonder if we could do this, slash, yeah, slash to-do. And then you can see when I clicked into it, that that's also the, uh, the button uh, syntax to get a to-do. Or I could just write something and then command enter, and now it's a to-do. Uh, oh, and then all your to-dos go into their own page. To-do. Oh, yeah. All my to-dos. Uh, let's go back. Uh, and then you can see all your done to-dos. You can use search or go to all pages to uh, get to your to-dos. Styling, Command-Alt-1, that gives me an H1, or an H2, or an H3. And then if I wanted to bold, command that. Let's highlight that first. Uh, oop, there you go. Command-B, now it's bold. And then if I wanted to copy paste this into like a Google Doc or an email, uh, a, lot, a lot of people seem to be using this to uh, draft emails, but then also take notes from their emails. Or if this is their to-do system, they'll draft the email, make it to-do, say, send this email. And then when they send it out, they'll check it off. So pretty cool. And some time commands. That's the current time. Today. Tomorrow. Ah. Come on. Dates. Let's pick a date. Uh, and then so if you're taking meeting notes or just need to input dates, it's a 
handy shortcut. And then all these dates are links. So those are my notes for that day. Okay. Oh, I don't need course two. I need, let's see, am I done? Yeah, looks like I am, okay. So pros and cons, let's take a look. So again, uh, note-taking works like an IDE. There's like so many shortcuts and things. Like I, I find my note-taking like a lot faster than Google Docs. Um, Oh yeah, let's copy some paste some code. So code here. And then let's just grab this. So this is the part I really like where it's like, I'm taking notes and I want code and then I don't have to jump somewhere else to look at my code notes. It's like in there and it's like formatted and it's colored like, and then you can, whoop, ah, oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> you can export this markdown, uh, which is cool because then you could draft readme files in this. Um, and then it's faster to create a new page and link between pages versus like other, uh, other services. Uh, in Google Docs, I mean, you can't like link to another doc. You just have to have like multiple windows open. Um, and then along with that is a more powerful search um, if you don't land on the exact page you wanted, it's a good chance you probably linked it to uh, the page you landed on, and then you can use tags and attributes to also like organize your uh, personal data management database. Um, oh, and there's that note I dragged in earlier. So e easily like transfer information without cutting and pasting. Like I could just drag a bullet point into here or vice versa using a tab. So I'm still like in the same window. Uh, the cons would be uh, th they're planning to do it at $15 a month. And for the same price, you, you could get an Office 365 or a Google Suite um, license, and that would give you email and storage and a bunch of other things. So I, I, I suppose this is really something where you're like, you're angry at your note taking um, software that you're using now. Uh, and and you think that organizing yourself in this way would would be very helpful? Make a comparison page. Yes, I did. And as you saw, I was <laughs> slower to initialize, and you you have to learn like an entire an entire new system. Okay. So let's, let's close that and go back to here. Some interesting uh, people to follow is the the founder of Rome Research. He's active on Twitter. And that's actually how I, I heard about this software because a bunch of people I followed was like chain about how great the software was. And then this is the author of the course I'm taking. And also the course where you, you get a deal where, oh yeah, let me bring this up. You get a deal where uh, you get 100 free Rome credits and the course is $99. back and then oh yes i need the contact page so let's do that real quick contact page uh all right this one i preloaded <laughs> here's me here's uh my contact information and if you have any questions let me know thank you good job richie thanks Never heard of Rome before. Definitely gonna check this out now. It's pretty cool. Does anyone have any questions for Richie? Richie, mm -hmm. um, how are you? <laughs> Think of that, that that went better than expected. Good. I was totally expecting uh, technical difficulties there. Just just had a one minor one. I would I would say. <laughs> All right. I've got a question. Um, when it comes to Rome versus, like, say, Evernote, uh, what would you say is, like, the number one uh, benefit that Rome has over, 
tools like Evernote, which does like auto save. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't used Evernote in a while, but I did use Notion pretty recently. And I would just say that the, the ease of creating a new doc, um, also, like when you first open it, it starts at a date, a daily page. So if you want to do like quick journaling, or if you're on mobile, then you could do like a quick capture of notes. Um, like I just found it, um, not like say when I'm using Google Docs, and then I use indentation to like organize my thoughts. But then, like it's a word processor, so it gets kind of lost. So I just feel like it, it naturally, at least for me, um, feels like it's it's easier to just like brain dump into it than than other services. Very cool. Does anybody else have any questions for Richie? All right, cool. Well, Richie, thank you so much, man. Great job.